Schwing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shilindo, and I am playing the best game ever created. I mean, Skitty Skylines, which is the best game ever created. Um, I am loving this game so much. Um, oh, whoops. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it's it's just been a blast to play. Now I've got to start this thing over again. Hold on. da 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 Okay, perfect. Boop, and combine those together, and zone for some residential. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump to the next, oops, jump to the next milestone. Get this residential out here. Build out some more industrial because they're going to want jobs. And they're going to want them soon. Actually, no, I don't, I don't like that side of the road gonna start from this side it always this side does me right that side does me wrong See, that did me wrong again we're about to hit the milestone need to get this built nope yep is that lined up yes you cooperated thank you thank you for your cooperation excellent and that should push us over the top, unlock the new milestone. We'll have plenty of money, somewhat plenty of power. And boom, 4,800, busy town. Unique buildings unlocked, achievements, milestones, yay. Okay, so we have more planning policies. We have more buildings. We have oil industry specialization, if we want that. We have free public transport. We have heavy traffic ban right here. Um, right now we're actually making money off the public transport, so it's, that's where a lot of our money's coming from. Thank you, bus lines. Um, and here's more roads. We have tons of roads, a lot of roads with trees on them. Those act as sound bear, uh, well, excuse me, the decorative trees act as leisure, I think. And then the, all, there is also sound barrier roads. I'm not sure if any of them have those here. But you get the picture. And also new buildings. We have police headquarters, which are much more effective than police stations. We have fire stations, which are much more uh, effective than fire houses. And then we have a new power plant by oil, and hospital is more effective than the clinic. So this is a huge level. I'm glad I'm here. So this uh, should help us with any of our medical needs. I'll go ahead and put one down here. Oh, we need water down here. Yikes. Forgot about the water. And we're going to use our grid that we set up in episode one. If you haven't seen that episode, feel free to go ahead and check that out. Show you how to build these really easily. And it's a big time saver, big money saver. Um, I didn't do it down here, which means I'm a sad panda. But I can do it from right here. And line it up just fine. And just continue from this side. Da, 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 connected. And that will do it for that area. So they have uh, water now, and they'll be happy. What next? What next? What next? Uh, unpause, that's right. Unpause is next. Uh, we also have fireplaces all over the place. Fireplaces? Fire houses. We can make a fire station, and it'll cover more area. I'm going to go ahead and do it up here because I think this area is desperately in need of fire protection. So look at that. Boom. Green, 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 green. Uh, probably going to do the same thing over here. Boom. Oh, no. Not enough money. Those are expensive. So look at that. 60000 for each on that one. 12000 for each. But it's so much more effective. Fire engine capacity of 25 versus 6 that it makes it worth it. And it's big... It's big um, Space saver, time saver, everything saver. It's a saver saver. Um, don't have any more public transport to add. Now I promise we won't be doing the whole grid thing permanently. It's just uh, That's just an easy way to start. Is a very grid based city. When we expand we're going to try to do it kind of organically. And be kind of interesting in where we place things and all that. But for now... Efficiency is the order of the day. 
Uh, do we need any more electricity? We kind of do. And we kind of want to spread that in a place where it's going to be efficient. I don't see a place... Our efficiency's gone down here. We've, we've filled up that whole area with, with turbines. Um, we could build it up here next to the highway. There's plenty of energy up there. I'm uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Alternatively, we could start building the oil power plants and stuff like that. I just don't see them being worth it. I do not see them being a, a worthwhile investment. So how about we build a bunch of uh, wind turbines by the highway where no one will be bothered by them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Six. Now at some point, this is going to become space... Um, a space hog. It's already kind of becoming a space hog. So once we get some really big uh, engine here, like the um, hydro power plant, we'll try to make something happen with that and make power. And once we have that, we may just end up getting rid of all of our wind turbines just going pure hydro. Because those are going to eventually take up all of our room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't have enough water capacity. So the red means, uh, the water, red blinking water means not enough water capacity. We need more pumps, and we need more intake and all that stuff. So we're going to put it right next door there. Go ahead and hook those together. Assuming I can. There we go. I was worried it was too short. I was like, no! Right there. Hook those pipes together. And now if we look at water... Boom, all the way in the green. And sewer treatment should follow. Boom, all the way in the green. We are good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Why do you guys not have workers? We have people. I uh, guess we need more people. Our residential demand is going way up. Oh, I thought I clicked that. Click. Not enough money. Fine, we can, we can go ahead and zone for whatever we got already, and we will fill in the rest later. When we have more money. Yes, I know we can buy new land. I can't afford it right now. Come back later. Just like so. And I don't know that we'll need more residual, uh, re residual, re uh, residential. It's going down pretty quickly. Demands medium. How's our traffic? Got to keep a close eye on the traffic. I am concerned about this because they were all using the overpass. Now some of them are turning directly into the place where we don't want them to be turning into. Um, it might be beneficial to turn this into a two-way street. And just make it thicker. So like upgrade it to a bigger size. I'm not sure I can do that because I got the park in the way now. Because if you check right here, you'll see if I push upgrade. Can't do it um, because it's the wrong type. I'd have to completely eliminate the uh, one way. And probably eliminate this park and things like that. Um, for now it's fine. Uh, our traffic doesn't seem to be clogging up anywhere terribly bad. If we look at traffic on the infograph, which is a very... Infographs are awesome. The red here is a problem. But, like I said, nothing's stopping. I mean, people are still getting by, and so I'm okay with it. Uh, they're probably not okay with it. Oh, we're out of power. Are we out of power, or are they just not connecting the buildings? We are not out of power. Why don't you have electricity? Hold on a second. Electricity availability. You guys should be connected. I'm going to give you a second to rethink what you're, what you're saying here. I'm going to go down here and check out this garbage situation. Um, oh, I forgot to turn this off. <laughs> okay, now both landfills will be in use. 100% full. I did a bad. <laughs> I did a very bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, why don't you... Why don't we have the incinerator yet? I hate building all these landfills. Fine. Another one. And another one. 
just to tide us over for now. This is full completely. Yeah, this this traffic problems. This is this is becoming an issue, a very big issue here. Huh? Got a cop going. Look at the cop. Cop, 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 cop. You figure people would let him by, you know, him being a cop and all. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do now? Um, we got our public transit buses going. Are the buses still? Buses are still flowing just fine. Uh, where did I put that bus station? There it is. 20 in use, operating normally. Um, we don't have a clog of people, do we? Seems fine. Okay. We're still using the basic roads, though. We could expand to these bigger six-lane roads or four-lane roads. Um, do something with the highway. But, you know, not in any hurry. This is a great game if you if you can force yourself to be patient. It's a great game. Works very well. Um, I still don't understand why these people don't have power. They're right next. They're they're inside this area that sh that says they should have power. Uh, consumption is, you know, lower than production. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Let's zone the rest of this stuff up. With actually, we need to expand this, don't we? Need to expand everything. All the things must be built. Build all the things, quickly. Oh, check if your power grid is divided into multiple separate power grids and connect them with power lines. I'm telling you, these are connected. They're right next door. What's the problem? Huh. I don't understand you. And I don't like you. Let's go ahead and zone in some of these. Maybe having them not zoned completely is making them confused. Confuzzled. Bubbles are disappearing. Bubbles are reappearing. It looks like a brownout, but the problem is, is that um, this shouldn't be a brownout situation. I should have plenty of power. Um, oh! No, we don't. So these never got detected. Uh, th this is a lesson for me. These never got attached to power lines. And because of that, we had brownouts, even though it said we had plenty of available power. Grr. Alright, there we go. Thank you, game. As always, you're right, I'm wrong. Alright, how do we fix this? Well, we're not going to fix this yet. We're going to wait for it to become a, a much bigger problem. Because that's what you do in a city. Wait till something becomes a horrible, giant problem. And then you deal with it. So we're going to zone this up with commercial. Commercial. Hey, wait a minute. This is supposed to be our buffer zone. Get out of here, buildings. You're in our buffer zone. Completely forgot about our buffer zone. Need to put a sign down. Say, do not build here. Okay, we're going to zone up that with commercial. We're going to need a lot more because we just deleted a lot of them. Okay, and then we also need more industrial. We have a new building. Police headquarters. We don't need police protection right now because everything's blue. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No more industrial. We got plenty of room down here. There we go. You guys enjoy your new industrial area. nearing 7,000. Looks like we're going to hit 7,000, hit the next milestone. What are we in, in, what are we in for in the next milestone? Got to be prepared for 
Metro. Oh, Metro. Convenient way of transporting people fast and decreasing traffic inside the city. Excellent. Lots of new policies here as well. We haven't messed with policies very much. We haven't messed with districts all that much either. Um, high density, density residential, high density commercial, and office zone. Those are incredibly huge. We have university, metro station, and incineration plant. And finally, incineration plant. That's going to be awesome. This is a huge, huge level. So I'm saving up a bunch of money because we're going to be building all kinds of stuff. We might even take a loan just to get more money. I don't like this at all. This what this what's going on here is just bad, bad, bad. We'll have to think about how to fix that. Okay, almost there. Six uh six nine oh nine. We gotta get to seven thousand and I'm accumulating a ton of money because I wanna be ready. Yes, I know there's more land. We haven't even used the new parcel we bought other than building windmills on it. Wind turbines, sorry. We have a big traffic problem here now. Big traffic problem. We're going to build metros on the next um, milestone. And we're going to see if that rectifies our traffic issue or not. One, two, three, four, five... All the way over and all the way down. Go ahead and block all. Oh, oh no 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 no! You can't be a, you can't be crooked roads. There will be only grid shaped roads in, in this part of town. Maybe in other parts of town you'll get away with that kind of shenanigans, but not here. This will definitely put us over the top quite quickly. Because people are going to be moving in really fast now. Um, we do need water all over here, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to continue with our grid. Hashtag episode one. All the way over. Click. Done. Done. And there we go, 7,000, big town. We got another land plot that we probably won't be buying for a while. We got another metro, or excuse me, we got a metro service. Um, high density buildings are unlocked, office zones are unlocked. This is where the game gets really interesting. Metro station, I mean, it's already really interesting, but it gets even more interesting, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. University and uh, incineration plant. So we gotta catch up on all that stuff. We need all that stuff very badly. So let's pause and let's start with the incineration plant. Now, the landfill has a capacity of 8 million and it has 15 garbage trucks capacity processing zero per week, power output zero per week. Now, this one has a 400,000 capacity, but it gets rid of 48,000 per week. So it's it, it it empties itself basically. And it has 27 garbage trucks and the power output is 12 Megawatts, so we can actually use this to power our city, which is pretty sweet. Um, so we're going to place these next to the garbage uh, landfills so that it'll be faster to get those emptied. We'll put one there, and we'll put one there. We'll put two down just to start out, and we'll tell these things to empty. We'll tell all of them to empty. And they'll all take the, the garbage over to this uh, these incinerators. I kind of want to see what that looks like before we move on. Uh, there comes the garbage trucks. And they're all going to be driving straight into this incinerator. And I think even the incinerator um, garbage trucks are going to go out and collect some of that garbage as well. So you're going to see just tons of um, garbage trucks all over the place up here. Wow, it's already it's already almost full. Look at that. We'll let that sit for a while. We'll see if we develop a garbage problem like that. We may very well have to 
have to use some landfills for a little while. Um, oh, they still need workers over there. Um, we have plenty of workers over here. Can they not get over there because of the horrible, horrible traffic? Is that the problem? We have um, Metro. Let's see what we can do with the Metro. So we can start by putting some kind of in the middle of these towns. Right there. And how about right here? Um, I wasn't supposed to do that, was I? Oh, no, the... Okay, yeah, uh, uh, the tunnels. Metro line tool. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We did we did it right. We did it right. I was a little nervous there, but we did it right. Um, got a metro here. And then we're going to have a metro. And I realize these generate noise pollution. So some of those um, residential areas won't be too happy about this. But it will help them. It will help them. So they should thank me. Their mayor. So, and we're going to use pipes to connect all these together. So I think I can just click on this thing. Go from there. Connect to that end. Connect this end to here. Connect this end to here. Connect this end back over to where we started. And we are done. And now we have to make the line. So we go from here to here to here to here and then back to here. Complete line. And now we're going to see a little train go around and, and pick people up and, and drop them off. See, look, a little train here. I'll drop off. I don't think we can actually click it and select it or anything. But, um, yeah, it's working. Cool. Underground trains. So if we go and look over here, where did I put that thing? There's so much stuff over here, I can't find it. Uh, hmm. Click the button again. There it is. So it's underground here. So if we look, you can see people going underground. And they're going underground to the subway, which is underneath their houses, which is kind of disconcerting. But they're going to go down there and they're going to, you know, go to their jobs through that thing. That is really cool. Ooh, I'm parched. Hold on a second, guys. Hmm, that was some good tea. All this talking. All this talking, uh, and it, it just it makes your throat so dry. Whew. But I do it for you guys. I, I will I will suffer I will suffer to entertain you all. Residential, residential, residential. How's our electricity looking? Still good. Sweet. Um, how's our landfills looking? Emptying. 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 These are all just maxed out. Oh, we got a garbage problem. So let's stop some of these from emptying. Stop some of these from emptying. Maybe they can help out with the garbage problem for a little while. And we'll just empty one at a time. Otherwise, the incinerators get over, over flooded with trash. Okay. What else needs to be done? University. Oh, wow. Okay, so elementary school. We need more ele another elementary school down here in this neighborhood. We need another high school. Looks like we need some education. Despite what uh, some people would tell you. We do need some education. Looks like we got enough uh, available capacity. So that education number should start going up. Sweet. And then university is going to cost how much? 75000 That's a bundle. We can zone more residential. That'll help us pay for, for that university. We'll zone all this stuff up. And we're going to add some commercial to. For right now, for this side of town, we're going to go with low density. And then I think 
I feel like when we cross over to the other side of the highway, I'm going to focus on high density. We're going to have like our, our kind of small suburb over here. And then to the north, we're going to have our big city. Because look at all this room up here. We got, got forestry business to do over here. We got, uh, looks like some oil out there. Got a nice big open area. We got a railroad, which will work great with our industry. Uh, just so many, so many good qualities up there across the highway. But I, I, I just want to get this whole area settled uh, completely. Fill in the rest of these gaps. And make sure everyone's happy with their schooling, university, and all that. And then we're going to cross the road. That's what we're going to do. So now you know what's in store for the next probably two episodes, I would guess. Um, actually, probably one episode. And then cross the road in the second one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you uh, enjoyed this, uh, feel free to click the subscribe button. For your convenience, it will let you know when I release new videos. And if that's something you want to see, then go right ahead. And if not, that's fine. Thank you for watching. And uh, remember, keep it clean.